Welcome back to the channel. Last video, we tore down a 351 Windsor we bought to do an engine swap. This video, we're going to continue to work on it, cleaning it and reassembling it. So let's get started. This engine was disgusting. I used a few different tools to clean it before I discovered that a drill with a wire wheel worked extremely well. This made the process much faster and now it's one of my favorite tools. To avoid taking this to a machine shop, I took some wet dry sandpaper and I wet sanded all the surfaces. Now that the engine is clean, we can work on honing it. We were able to avoid taking it to a machine shop because the pistons were within the manufacturer's specs. I honed each piston 30 times until I had a nice cross hack pattern. Next up was the freeze plugs. After removing each freeze plug and cleaning the hole, I applied RTV to the new freeze plug and hammered it in. After installing new camshaft bearings, we are ready to work on the crankshaft. I removed the old bearings and cleaned the surface. Then I installed the new bearing and put some break-in oil on it. We set in the crankshaft and put some plastic gauge on the main caps to check the oil clearance. After torquing the main caps, I removed the main caps to measure the plastic gauge. The bearing clearance was within the spec, so I torqued it down for good. We have new piston heads to install, so we take the old piston heads off of the piston rod, then heat up the piston rod to expand the metal. Slide the pin through the piston rod and let it shrink back down. Now we've assembled a piston. Once we've done that, we can put new rings on the pistons and put them in the engine. Now onto the heads. First I clean the dirt and grime off them with a wire wheel. Then I remove the rocker arms. The threads for the rocker arms were very gummed up, so I cleaned them with a dye. Then I removed the valves and began cleaning the carbon off of them.
I started lapping the valves. I did this both by hand and with the tool, but this took a very long time. Now that I have reseated the valves, I can put new seals on them and put the assembly back together. We installed a high performance camshaft and new lifters. I was careful to make sure that the lifters did not stick. Then I installed the heads and push rods. I torqued the heads down to the manufacturer's specs. next video we will finish the engine, paint it, and put it in the truck. So if you enjoyed what you saw, please subscribe.